when the narcissist game is finally over. When their game finally comes to an end. The narcissist game is over when you put a stop to it. They're never going to put an end to their own game. They will play that game until the end of time. It will never stop. So you have the power in that situation. You have the power to decide when it ends. And it ends when you finally figure them out. When you finally expose them for what they really are. But when you do that, they will react in an unkind and cruel way. Because they worked very hard to construct this false image, which they use to obtain attention, to be accepted and admired. And when you find out that what they're displaying to you isn't who they really are, and it's only for the purpose of gaining attention, their only option is to turn against you. Because at that point, you're not going to give them anything anyway. They want people's reactions to this character that they have developed to deceive you. That's all this character is designed to do. That's the only purpose of it. It performs no other specified action or activity. And when you find out about that and you announce this information and you express it by no longer working with them or complying readily with their requests by no longer playing their game and you stop giving them the attention and admiration that they're looking for and expecting from you that's when their game is finally over And you're no longer of any use to them. And then you will see who they really are. You will see behind the curtain. Because you have stripped them of everything that they portray themselves to be. Everything that they're not. Everything they use to trick you. And that is something that is very difficult for them to deal with. It's an uncomfortable situation for them. Because now they're dealing with someone who knows exactly who they are. Some people may treat the narcissist like a normal person. But that's only because they don't know them. Anyone who really knows the narcissist doesn't want to be around them. They don't want to spend time with them. They don't want to talk to them. They don't want anything to do with them. Because when you figure them out, you immediately become their opposition. They begin to see you as their enemy, as their opponent, as something that must be overcome. And they won't feel comfortable around you. Because they can't behave in the way that they would like to behave. And it makes them really angry 
because you know that they're fake, which also causes them to feel embarrassment and shame. It causes them to feel very self-conscious and they don't like how that feels. So when you discover who they are, they will cut you off. They will make it so that you are no longer involved or playing a part in their game because you are no longer important to them. And they are very angry that you have figured out their trick. You have figured them out. And now you can go off and expose them to other people as well. Which is why they work so hard on their smear campaign. This is why it's so important to them. This is why it's their main priority. They have to smear you immediately and damage your reputation because they're always on edge. They're always expecting someone to try to expose them. So they have to do it before you do by making people distrust you by making you seem guilty of an offence so that they can have the advantage if you start revealing certain information about them and telling people what you discovered. So they have to focus on their long term and overall objective and interests. They have to know all of your family and friends, anyone that you talk to. They have to make friends with anyone you're involved with. They can't just stay in their own place. They have to put themselves in position to outdo you so that they can have an advantage, so that they can have several different sources of supply. Because the narcissist knows they have an expiration date. They know it's only a matter of time until they get exposed. They know you're going to figure them out or they're going to screw it up. Once they gained access to your life, their only purpose is to maintain their deceptive outward appearance. That's all that really matters to them. And it requires a lot of work. So when you discover who they really are, they turn against you immediately. They get very angry. They detach from you. Because you're not going to see this loving or charming character anymore. You're going to see an enemy. You're going to see someone who is actively opposed and hostile towards you. And they know that once you've recognized that they're not well-meaning to you and that they are intending to cause harm and danger to you, they know they're going to experience difficulty and problems. So they don't mind abandoning everything they've worked on. They don't see any purpose in working on anything else with you because they already know what's going to be the result of that. Once you use your good sense of practical judgment. So that is why they react in such a cruel and severe manner when you put an end to their game. Because now they have to protect themselves. After you've just figured out that they mean you no good. So of course they have to stop being involved in the situation. Of course they have to stay away because the only people who are going to choose to remain around them are people who lack experience, wisdom and judgment, people who lack awareness, people who are foolish, which are the kind of people that the narcissist likes and wants to have around them, people who are unreserved, people who are generous and giving who don't pay attention to the circumstances or conditions. Those are the kind of people they want around them. 
people who don't have any worries, problems or anxieties. People who are not even thinking when they're around them. That's what they like. They love people like that. And they will take advantage of your lack of knowledge and experience. Of not being able to correctly identify who or what they really are. And what their true intentions and objectives are. That's a major factor for how they prevent their targets from moving on. But sometimes they will stick around. Because they think that you're not really sure. You don't really know what's going on. You may have wrongly believed that something dangerous or unpleasant is about to happen. You may have made a mistake. You haven't fully figured them out. So they will continue to test you. And even the discard phase can be a test. They may plan on getting rid of you. Just to see how you're responding to them. To see if you're emotionally disconnected. Or if you still have something left for them. If you're completely detached and it's straight to the point, they know something is wrong. They know you've figured them out. They may try to pull you back in because they don't want to pull away after all of the work they've put in to secure you. But if you don't take the bait, they know you've figured them out. Their game is finally over and they always expected it to happen. They're prepared for it. And that is why they always have a secondary source. That is why they always have a backup option. In case things turn sour with you. You're never exclusive with a narcissist. You're never the only one. There's always someone else that they're dealing with. They're never involved with one person at a time. They're always looking for the bigger, better deal. They're always looking for someone with superior superficial qualities. They're always looking for the next shiny new toy. To replace you. And to help them return to a normal state of health, mind and strength. In case they lose you as their primary source of supply. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narxfiber.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.